teachers confidence in different types of classrooms. Just imagine, how many teachers are there in a world right now? And each and everyone has a different individual character with confidence, as one of the indispensable personal qualities. In my opinion, the main reason why being self-confident and increasing personal confidence is crucial for teachers is so as to allow students to believe, what they are teaching is correct, has importance, and also to find respect from the student's side. So, now I am going to list out some points, which, in my humble opinion, may help teachers to increase confidence. Lesson Planning Firstly, preparing for the lesson in advance. No matter under which conditions it will be held or which circumstances can change during the teaching process, the first thing in the mind when the bell rings and teacher is standing in front of students must be that after greetings, he, she already knows what to say. It is not necessary to make up a lesson plan, just to keep in mind the order in which you are going to present material and the approximate time for each kind of activities. So, be prepared in all possible ways, including checking, if all the needed equipment works, equals to being confident. Uniform Secondly, if I were a principal of a school, I would have definitely established a rule of wearing the uniform for teachers because, in my opinion, it helps to feel more concentrated, serious and, therefore, confident. In addition, I don't think students pay much attention to the teacher, wearing jeans and a t-shirt, because, as it is known, the first appearance is made based on the look. Self-education Thirdly, improving your language skills constantly, by different means, will make to feel more confident, I believe. If I am assured, that I grasp the English language to the fluent level, I will automatically feel confident and won't get stuck because of not knowing what to say or to do during the lesson. Teaching Bigger Classrooms Finally, I want to write about increasing confidence in managing a big class of students. It's a different kind of confidence because here teacher must use communication and socializing skills applying to different categories of listeners. Starting from memorizing all students' names, continuing with engaging everybody equally during lesson activities, up to sharing some personal hobbies and discussing them with students during break time. Basically, being confident is connected with considering yourself as a good teacher, and seeing that results of your lessons are positive and teaching methods, you apply, seem to work well. So, in order to increase confidence teacher needs to strengthen personal qualities, make a good image in the eyes of other people. A good teacher also needs to receive some feedback from students, be sure, that all information given in lesson time, is being grasped by them. In order to achieve this result, it's necessary to try out different approaches, using innovative and creative methods of teaching, and to show, that you are interested in teaching. If students will see your interest, both sides will reach an understanding, and it will definitely increase not only the confidence of teacher but of students also because they are learning something, that may lead them to a better life, make look more intelligent in a circle of friends and future colleagues. Are you ready to work on your confidence? Take a TEFL course today. Personally my target is to become a confident English teacher and to share my confidence with students, because it is not the only language, that we learn in English class, but also life experience and opinions of other people, like classmates and teacher, and it is a very important factors, that may influence the future life of each student. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll free at 1 800 490 0531 to speak with an ITTT advisor today.